Well, greens are packed with nutrients, but a few can be outright bitter for some people. CBS 2's Stephanie Tantillo heads to a West Village restaurant where they're putting a sweet spin on Broccoli Rob. Today we're going to talk about Broccoli Rob. Now, Broccoli Rob is a little bit of a bitter green, but it is so healthy for you. It's absolutely worth it to prepare it right, and you'll absolutely love it as well. So let's talk about selection and storage. When you see Broccoli Rob in the store, the first thing you want to check is that these flowers are a nice green. Avoid any yellowing, and if they look like they're opening up too much, avoid that as well. And these leaves right here should be a nice, firm green, and they should definitely feel dry in your hand also. Now, when you bring Broccoli Rob home, store it in the refrigerator. I like to wrap it up in a paper towel, and that way it'll last for about five days. So why don't we have this in a really cool pesto over at Loro. Loro in the West Village has a sophisticated and modern American cuisine with a relaxing and cool atmosphere. Welcome to Loro. I'm here with Chef David. So what are we going to make today? We're going to make a broccoli raw pesto with uh, rigatoni. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom is going to have a sweet pepper puree that's seasoned with sausage spice. So instead yeah. of basil, that's where you use a broccoli raw. Exactly, yeah. But the rest of the pesto is still the traditional recipe? Correct. Pine nuts, mm -hmm. garlic, olive oil, a little Parmesan cheese. Perfect. All right, let's mm -hmm. begin. Here I have water. Yeah. That I've seasoned with both salt and a tiny bit of sugar. Broccoli Rob, as we know, is really, really bitter. Very bitter. Um, so the sugar kind of helps draw out that bitterness a little bit. Interesting. So the whole key of the blanching is mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter the size of the pot that you're using. Yeah. It's all about overcrowding. You don't want to overcrowd you your pot. You want them to be able to breathe. Exactly. When you put it in, you should almost not lose the boil. That's the that's Good. the key. If you yeah. lose the boil, you, you put, put too much, much in. in. The broccoli rob only blanches for about 30 seconds before we drop them in an ice water bath. That's true. When you blanch vegetables, especially something like broccoli rob, they keep cooking when they get out of the water. Exactly. So when you throw them in an ice bath, you stop that and you keep them exactly where you want them. Once we have these nice and cold, mm -hmm. we're going to drain them off a little bit so that they don't have too much water in them because water will dilute. The pesto. The pesto. And we follow the traditional uh, pesto style. Toasted pine nuts, raw garlic, olive oil, a little bit of salt for flavor, and we puree all of this before adding in the broccoli rob. This is still a machine, so it'll heat the broccoli rob up okay. as it purees. So it's important, if you want to keep this really nice and fresh, do your bulk of your pureeing first, mm -hmm. and then add your broccoli rob. Interesting. Right, so you have a nice... You know, a nice, beautiful, smooth puree mm -hmm. going. Then we're going to add our Rock broccoli rob to it. Alrighty. Starts to break down, just yeah. like that. Beautiful. In the meantime, we start to cook the homemade pasta. See, so rigatoni is pretty thick. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take probably about eight minutes to, okay. to cook. And it's still going to end up with beautiful al dente, but it's going to take a little bit, so yeah. we're going to wait Well, you, especially if you're making fresh pasta or homemade pasta, it's important that that pot is very highly salted. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're going to just finish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, fresh Parmesan cheese, right over the top. And yeah. you just kind of warm it through. Mm -hmm. The sweet pepper puree acts as a base for our rigatoni. Okay, so you see this? We got a little bit on every bite. We have some of the sausage spice, the sweet peppers, yeah. the cheese, the broccoli rub. Thank Perfect. you so much for having us here in your restaurant. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. For CBS 2 News, I'm Stephanie Tantillo. That's great. I don't want to say it. It's almost better than traditional. <laughs> <laughs> You're eyeing that pasta. I know. I said, we just need a bigger bowl of this. It looks so good. I